Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In this series, I will show you about earthquake analysis according to BNBC 2017 with respect to ASCE 705 and ASCE 710 and I will compare that result uh, and already I have analysis about earthquake load so in our previous video you will find that here I will discuss about wind load analysis so let's start So as per previous, I have created Excel file here. So here is the Excel file for earthquake load and here all data are same as BNBC 2017 and also this is applicable for ASCE 705 and ASCE 7010 so uh, you'll be able to use that easily uh, just you have to change the value from that yellow box after that you'll be able to change that value I mean uh, you'll be able to use that Excel sheet and you will find your value here or record value for our ETAPS input as per ASCE 705 you'll be able to input your value here and uh, if we go here I have collected all data and uh, I want to tell you about that the wall data all data except our location value I mean uh, for basic wind speed the every value are same as ASC 705 so you will be able sorry so you will be able to use that just uh, here select location just for that value only for that value you will get the basic wind speed and only this is the difference only this is the difference for basic wind speed and uh, just you have to use wind speed according to your reason and other every value will be same as according to your design code I mean according to ASC 705 if you use that code you can use that Excel sheet easily and uh, here another value tradian ex, uh, exposure constant here all value and uh, just you haven't to do here anything I have already processed that just you have to change here only that yellow box you have to change and you will find that value automatically here is the building height height of the building in meter height of the building in meter so I'll go to our ETAPS and this is the model that I have used for our earthquake analysis and if I go here uh, load pattern <coughs> you'll be able you can see that here one two three four five I have checked that for that I have checked for uh, three types of design code and both are same we have found you know about that if you follow my previous lecture then you may know about that and uh, for wind load analysis I'll also use that model so here we need 
height of the building height of the building so for that I'll go here edit edit a story and grid system from here we'll find our building height so from here we're seeing that our building height is 9, 9 feet sorry 90 feet our building height is 90 feet and uh, if you want to change that cancel that you have to go here here US unit US default after that go here edit a story show value sorry 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 it's matrix so when we use matrix value then if we go here edit a story modify value and here is the value in meter so here all value are available in meter so that is the maximum s to height and uh, this is also the value for the total height so 27 we can copy that copy or 27.432 and after that we have to go here paste it here as a value so here is your height of the building okay it's done height of the building and uh, you have to do it carefully because uh, in the height of building the ghost factor are dependent with that after that you have to select your location this uh, okay so here after that you have to select location have to select location so from here you have to select your location I'm using Gopalgons as my hometown of Bangladesh after that here you have to change occupancy category so from here you have to select your occupancy category and after that you will find your importance factor so uh, as uh, we have used occupancy category 3 when we have analysis our earthquake load for our earthquake load so here also I will use occupancy category 3 and exposure type exposure type AVC you have to know about exposure type expose the type of your building so for know about that you have to read about your design code and uh, according to BNVC it's AVC and according to ASCE American Society for Civil Engineers it's BCD so A for B B for C and C for D according to ASCE that's the difference and after that I'm just uh, going to select category A okay done and after that a structure type KD we have to select KD so here is the extra structure type which types of a structure we are using building component and cladding building we are using building so here click building and uh, if you use truss building or any other R roof, you can use that. So building, okay. Then topographical factor, it's one. You know about BNBC 2017. We can consider KZT as one. Otherwise, you have to calculate according to code. 
I have calculated and it's similar to almost similar to 1 that's why we can consider it 1 and also our code or ASC code defined that you can use that 1 if the uh, category are not mixed with our building after that length of the building along x direction so from our design we have to find out our value from our model so this is the x direction and this is the y direction so we have to find out the value i mean length width of x and y direction for that we'll go edit edit a story and from here we'll go modify grid system and we if we use grid or display grid data as ordinates we'll found here according to x ordinate our width is 13.7 on 6 so copy that and paste it here along x direction paste as a value 13.7 on 6 and here according to y direction is 22.86 just remember that you have to select display grid that as ordinate so right click copy and paste here for y direction so we have found our two value here 13 and 22.86 now when here is the important thing from which direction the wind are coming from which direction wind are coming you have to understand that suppose wind are coming in according to along x direction so it will be perpendicular to y direction and when wind are coming along y direction that it will be perpendicular to x direction so you have to know about that here wind direction perpendicular to when wind are coming x direction i mean when will uh, input our value then we have to input that value when we will input our value uh, for x direction then we have to select y because um, when wind will come in according to x direction then it will be perpendicular to y otherwise when we will select y then yet it will be perpendicular to x so when we will select x that will be it will be perpendicular to x direction i mean the wind will come along y direction that is the difference so our everything are done after that here is our value here is our value for etaps input required data for etaps input so this value will input etaps according to asce 705 and asce 710 and after that we'll compare the two value and uh, as uh, BNBC 2017 is according to ASC 705 so you all are able to use that excel file just you have to use the wind load because uh, the, that only wind load will change according to our location suppose if I use that our wind load will change then the way here so in this way we're able to find out that value and uh, it's okay for today and uh, our next tutorial i will show that how we'll input our value and how we'll analysis for that for asc705 and another video i'll discuss about asc710 Thank you. Thank you very much. Estel, stay connected till next.